love days like this where the morning is all rainy, but then the afternoon suddenly dries up. Now it's supposed to rain again after I get out of work, like 5.30. But well, that's fine. That was kind of weird. I felt like I just rode over somebody's grave. I wasn't going no 30. Those are not accurate on motorcycles. I've noticed that on every type of bike I've ridden. Everything from my tiny little 50cc all the way up to the 750s, they aren't accurate. They're usually a couple miles per hour off. Also cooler so I can wear my good helmet. I had to switch to my half helmet the last couple days just because it was so hot. The problem with the half helmet is it just doesn't offer the same protection. You get in a crash, your face is done. However, it's better than nothing, which would be the other option. To be fair and completely honest, I have ridden without a helmet on rare occasions. Not my preference. Oh, it's been a long day today. I'm usually not getting out of work at 5, but today I am. Slow it down for this one. Oh, the UPS truck going in. Hopefully not another one going out yet, like yesterday. <laughs> Yay! I didn't get killed, did? Well, today's been a long day. Good chance of rain. It looks like there's rain over to the west of me. Rain to the right of me. Oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> Go through the puddle. Wee! I love riding right after a rain. Riding just after a rain is just such a wonderful feeling. The air feels fresher and cleaner. There's a little bit of wetness on the road, so you got to make sure that you have good wet traction tires. I do. I have Michelin City Grips on this on the PCX. It's interesting. People always wave back at me when I say hello to my neighbors and stuff. I'll wave to my neighbors and say hello to them while I'm riding my bike. And my neighbors, I believe that every person is my neighbor, as the teachings of Jesus Christ say. But in the more close sense of neighbors who live close to me, I will greet them, especially if they're walking a dog, because dogs are awesome. And there's nothing in the Bible saying dogs are awesome, mind you. <laughs> Just implied, no, not at all. There's usually any, any mentions of dogs are never, never positive. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I don't think there's any mention of cats in the Bible, other than lions. And getting back to my original point here, I think that the you meet the nicest people on a Honda mantra that Honda tried to push back in the 50s and 60s when they were bringing the Honda 50 to the U.S really has a lot of power still. A lot of the small Hondas, the the Grom, the the PCX, the Monkey, the the Super Cup, even the C D three hundred and the C D R three hundred, all of those smaller bikes, they they make you happy and they make you want to be friendly to people. They're not about being macho or showing off, or, well, the Grom is a little bit about showing off, but that's another story. And I think that there's something good that comes from that. Machismo is not my thing. Oh my, that's getting windy. I'm gonna try to get home before the storm hits. It's been off and on rainy all day. So I do want to quick do a review of, and it's obviously going to be a very quick review, of my fuzzy cover. It's very nice. It's fuzzy. It makes me happy. People smile. Smiles make me happy. I had a baby smile at me today at work and my heart just warmed up. I love when people smile. And so I give them opportunity. I got it from a place called Moto Loot. I don't really know that much about them other than that it came up and it looked funny and I got it. I think it cost me like 30 bucks. And it's just a great little cover. It works very well for what it is supposed to do, cover the helmet. Whenever it rains, I do take it off. It doesn't get wet. Another person's smiling, so that's good. Good days. It's a very effective way to get people's attention so that they see you while you're riding down the road. Very good as far as all that goes. I've had it for about six months. And 
in that six months, I have noticed that right here in the front, the little bit where the visor comes down and clips has worn away a lot of the fuzz. That is not the fault of the cover. It's just stuffed animal fur, basically. It's the fault of the clip. Wow, look at that. Now that storm has passed me. It's not coming this way, so... So every time I open this visor and then close it, I actually have to pull down on the chin bar just to keep it from impacting and making that damage worse. But again, that's not the fault of the cover at all. It seems to be very good construction. The elastic has held up well. Uh, the things that you'd expect, it's gotten a little dirty. That's to be expected. For what it is, I, I'd spend another 30 bucks on one of these any day. Good stuff. He doesn't have his blinker on. I should make a video, UPS trucks behaving badly. <laughs> oh, gee. This has actually held up quite a lot better than the other helmet cover I had, which was a Rolf the Dog helmet cover, and the nose on that was made of a rubber ball. And it fell apart pretty darn quick. Nice signal, dum dum. Don't see too many of those running around anymore. Oh. to the mass. That's great. Yep. And that's why I'm always careful. I pulled left across the traffic. He's in a rush to get where he's going. So I have to replace this guy. I could do a rebuild on it, but I'm just going to replace the thing, take the old one off, put a new one on. The difference between the rebuild and replacing the part completely is 20 bucks. I think to save myself and my fingers the difficulty, I'm just going to replace the darn thing. I had to replace the caliper on this a couple of years back because I had a sticky piston. front brakes grab now look at that oh wow what a difference it actually stops what a huge difference oh. other than the sweating there was so much corrosion and gunk inside that old brake piston it just it didn't grab at all now it grabs Oh, I feel so much more at ease. Ugh. Pulling on the brakes and having nothing happen is a little bit of a, um, you should have worn your brown pants today. I'm going a little faster than I have to I hope I didn't affect the attention of that copper. Mm, don't think of. like they own this town. So the police did take up all those signs that said reminder 25 miles an hour. That lasted about two weeks, three weeks. Even in that time they didn't really make that much of a difference. That's nice. Depressing the brakes and not feeling a weird pumping feel. That's good. Thanks for watching folks. I appreciate you. You are the reason I have my channel. Just to entertain folks for fun. I don't, don't have the hugest audience in the world, but I appreciate you who watch. Again, thank you for watching. You have a great one. Be safe, be well, and be blessed.